what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Bard to beat Google Maps. Watch this. Ah, you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction. This video is dedicated to my brother, Darren Marion from Retail SEO. He would have ate this crap up. He would have loved Google Bard and ChatGPT. And man, I think about him all the time. Brother, I love you. All right, guys, hope everybody's doing great, right? So we're trying to rank here in the Google three pack. This part right here, Google Maps. This is the only spot that I specialize. I only specialize in this. This is a different skill set ranking here than ranking here in organic. Completely different skill set. Do I have it? Yeah, I have part of it. Well, it's changed lately, but this is the area that I specialize right here in Google 3 Pack. Why? Because it gets, you know, 75 to 80% of the clicks if somebody's looking for something local. So if you're looking for, right here, I'm using local appliance, right? You're only going to drive up to 20, 25 miles to uh, have, have your appliance fixed. So uh, that's those people want to be found right here in the in the Google three pack. So, you know, in this video, what I want to do is I just want to make it easy, right? I made this video, my last video that I made got got a lot of action more than more than usual. And I think I could simplify it. So right, if you watch the last video, you may have some questions. I've answered a couple of personal questions, you see, I have my cell number here. And what I want to do is I just want to make it simpler. I want to make it easier to rank here. When uh, my kids were younger, I used to play video games with them. And one of the sayings that I had is easy to understand, hard to master. I was never ever able to play a video game or a song on my guitar that was hard from the beginning. I like, to, I like a song or a video game that was easy to play, but it was hard to master. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is I'm going to show you the outline how to do it how to rank in the Google 3 pack so you have the idea, easy to understand, hard to master, right? Hard to master, but if you understand the concept, at least, you know, uh, you could work towards mastering that craft. If, if I, I made it so complicated in the beginning and, and it was hard to understand, then you know what, uh, you move on to something else. So I'm gonna make it super easy to understand, but just realize that this is a skill that's hard to master. Hey guys, so you know I make these videos to help you out, but you could help other people out by hitting the like and subscribe button. What that does is it shows Google that you enjoyed the video. Also, you, you know, you need to watch to the end. If you do those three things, Google says, hey, this is a good video and let's send this out to other people. And if you think it's good information, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. So before you start a campaign, the first thing you need to do is run a grid report. Now, like I said in all my videos, the, um, the grid system that I like to use is called Local Falcon. There are other ones, Local Viking, Bright Local, LocalDominator.io. There's a lot of real good ones. I like Local Falcon. I, I think it's really easy to use. I have an affiliate link below. If you want to support the channel, use the affiliate link. It's cost the same as if you went to the site, but you could do, you know, whatever, whatever best for you. But the most important thing is, is that you run a grid report. Now, you'll notice that in the center, you'll see, you, you notice that the, um, the dots are green uh, and you'll see numbers in them. And, and that's what, what that shows is where you're ranking in that area. In other words, if you were standing in that area or if you drove to that area and you typed in appliance repair, if it says number two, you would be in second place, you know, three or four miles away from your uh, uh, GMB. However, if you go seven or eight miles, you may be in seven or eighth place, right? You go 10 miles, you may be in 20th place. So what the grid report shows you is where you're ranking and and where you're not ranking, right? That's as simple as I can say it. Where you're ranking, where you're not ranking. Now, where you're not ranking, you need to put together a, 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 a program, right? Uh, or, a, or a workout program, right? To see how to, how to rank in that particular area. But first, you need to know that you need help in that area. It was once brought to me like, you know, uh, you know, 
when you're bodybuilding, you, you need to look into the mirror and see what you need to improve. And you can't see what you need to improve if you don't have a mirror. And what these grid reports are, are, are a mirror for your business in, re, in regards to ranking in Google Maps. So if you're going to speak to me, the first question that I'm going to ask you is, uh, have you ran a grid report? If you haven't, I'll be happy to do it for you. Here's my text. I'll be happy to run a grid, a grid for you, but uh, that's something that you need to do. Even if you're paying somebody to do SEO for you, or if, or if I'm doing your SEO, even though I send you once a month, I send you a report, right? You need to be checking on it yourself. Nobody cares more about you than you. Okay, guys, let's get started, right? Easy to understand, hard to master. So right here where it says the number 20, we're trying to rank here. We need to do three things. We need to create a page on our website for an address located uh, on the number 20. We need to go to Google Business Profile and add that address and that area in Google Business Profile. And then we need a review from that area. Let me show you how to do that. All right, guys, so here's the easy part. So what I did was I typed in uh, appliance repair Tampa and I scrolled down and I found like on the you know 10th, 11th place appliance corpse. So if I was appliance corpse, this is what I would do. It's so simple. Just come over to Bard and this is what I asked Bard. Now, now this is the part where you probably have to pay the most attention to, right? So I'm going to say this again and I'll say it slow and, you know, like I always do. Please write 750 words of content for my appliance repair business located in Tampa, Florida with, you know, the zip. Then please include the following when writing the article, the name of the business, the address, the county, the owners, which I made up, right? I don't know who the owners are. And please include all keywords having to do with Samsung microwave repair, right? Because I'm trying to rank for microwave repair in that zip code. And even more importantly, please, me please mention uh, three popular attractions naturally only found in 336-14. Please include our 20-year warranty, our phone number, and the thing that makes us different is our 20-year warranty. So what it did was it, it gave us a really nice article uh, using that address and the services that we provide and why we're, you know, what makes us different. That's really important, right? Google wants to see what makes you different or how you innovated the, the service, right? So for example, if your delivery service, you know, could pick up within 10 minutes of, of a call, that makes you different than anybody else. You need to add that to your website. And then what we did is, is we added a couple of uh, uh, attractions that are in that area. Now, look, it could be attractions. It could be a police house, a, you know, a police station, a firehouse, uh, just something that's unique to that area. And then you call us today, right? And, uh, and then it, it, it created a map with the address, right? Is this beautiful? The only thing I would have added to this was the actual address. So, you know, I asked it to add the actual address. I'm going to get, I'm going to have to get mad at Barty. And I'm going to say, Barty, I told you, I told you to add the address. So that's the only thing I would do. All right. But you got the idea, right? So we, now we have a great article. We have, you know, some really nice uh, H tags that have that have the, the name of the city and, and, and what we do. Like, so I would swap out appliance repair service uh, uh, and I would add, I would add in, uh, I would add microwave and make sure I put in the, the city name. You gotta touch it up a little bit. You gotta touch it a little bit. You know, what makes appliance cor corpse of Tampa, you know, different? I would put in the word Tampa, right? So you get the idea. You get the idea. Okay. The next thing I would do is go over to our Google business profile, right? And, you know, I would, I would go to where it says uh, profile right here. And, and I would write in this story somewhere that I do microwave repair at uh, 
between Main and Maple Street. I, we also do microwave repair in between Main and Maple Street in Tampa, Florida, right? Right in that number 20 where we were in that corner. We want to put it in here. We also want to put it, we want to create a post. So I just did a job. What I want to do is I want to create a post about my microwave repair at that address. So I'll take a picture at that address, right? And then I'll write what I did at that address for microwave repair. Remember something, guys. We need to show Google that we're relevant at that number 20. Let that sink in. Does that make sense to you, right? We create a, a page on Google, I mean, not a page, a page on, uh, on our website. We create a page on our website. We go into our Google business profile right here. And wherever we can add that address and that service, we put it in. So we could put it here. We could put products, right? Microwave repair, right? That's one of the products that we do, add a product. Right, a product is also a service. Put microwave repair, right? And wherever we could add it in, there's also a place by the Q and A. Like, there's a place where you could, I, I forgot where it was, but you make these automatic. I'll do a video on that again one day, where you make these automatic. Like, do you apply, uh, do you, do you, um, do you do, appliance repair for microwaves uh, between Maple and Main Street on in, in Tampa Bay. So it's an automatic response and it says, yes, we do, you know, and it, it gives the answer, right? Okay. All right. So e click every single one of these. I think it's a q and I, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I, I, I think it's here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for driving you crazy. So it's these three dots. You click these three dots. Right? Chat settings. I forgot. All right. Anyway, I'll do I'll do a video on that. Okay. So now we added it into our Google business profile. You have that idea. That's what I'm trying to show you is that you need to go through each one and see where you could add that right if you took photos go to add photos you need to you need to add photos of that address and upload it to your google business profile anything that has to do with each one of your google business profile you need to upload the work that you did into your google business profile right then you need a review and that review should say that uh you know tim and karen smith were extremely tim and karen smith from appliance corps were extremely professional uh uh you know they uh you know they they uh helped uh they fixed my 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 microwave uh they gave me a 20-year warranty and then it would be great if they uploaded a picture Right. So when you go to a customer, don't just think about going to a customer and doing the job. You got to get information. What was the address? Take some pictures. What work was done? Then you give all that information to your web developer in a template and then they upload it to the website. Great. They upload it to the website. They take that information. They put it in the Google business profile. And then before you leave, say, Miss Williams, I love the house dress you're wearing today. It's it's flattering. Uh, would you please give us a review that we came and did your, uh, your, your uh, microwave repair, your Samsung microwave repair? Sure. Sure, I'll be happy to. You do those three things, you're going to rank, right? You're going to rank. So I'm really happy that I was able to help you with this today. I hope something clicked where you were like, man, I never thought of it like that, right? I was going out doing tree service or I was going out doing plumbing jobs and just getting the money and coming back. I never took any pictures. Uh, I never 
I added a page to my website about the service that I did, like a portfolio page, right? Just create portfolio pages. And this is all the work that you did, but you gotta get them in those red sections. The first thing you have to do is you have to get a map, uh, uh, an SEO grid map, right? You have to see first where you're not ranking. And then when you, when you send jobs out to those areas, then you gotta be like, look, Joe, you're going out to go see Miss Williams today for microwave repair. And that's a, you see we're not ranking in that area. Uh, take pictures, let me know everything that you did, and please get a review from Miss Williams on her phone in that area, you know, right, right in that area while she's standing there. Do those three things. Like I said, easy to understand, hard to master. Hard to master. But you could do it, man. You could do it. Look, I make these videos to teach you how to do this yourself, right? And the reason why I do that is because it took me a really long time to learn how to do this. And I'm passing it on to you so you could do it and then you could get more leads and you could take your family on nice vacations and then you could uh, you know, send your kids to a better schools and things like that, right? That's the thing that's, that's important to me. That's important to me. I, I was uh, I was thinking the other day. I was like, how many people can tell their story without including me, whether they like me or not? How many people could tell their story of success and not include me? And I would say probably about twenty. I would say probably about twenty people. Uh, could not tell their story without including my name, right? And I'm not just saying that to pull a string on my chest that like I'm so great or something like that, but you know, I think it's real important. What I'm trying to say is I think it's really important to help. And I think that you should think about that yourself, right? How many people could tell their story without including your name? Like it'd be impossible to tell their story of success and they didn't mention you, whether they like you or not. Because sometimes people resent you. Uh, people will resent you because you helped them right? They'll find something at the end. They want to think that they got the idea. They'll resent you. But it doesn't matter. They still have to tell a story and they still have to say, uh, Joe was the one who helped me. It's just, you would air, right? So with that, I'm going to take the dog to the park and uh, I'm going to let him go run around. I'm going to go let Mr. Schwartz go run around and um, we're going to have a good time for the next, you know, couple hours here in the afternoon so guys have a great day kiss your wife kiss your kids be good to people help people and i promise you everything's going to work out 2024 is going to be your year over again my friend i you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction i you don't believe on the eve of destruction.